100 miles per hour. That's how fast one of these can get during a hockey game. So why would anyone, anywhere, on purpose, want to put their body in front of that? Oh yeah, being a little bit insane, it helps. <laughs> okay, I guess that explains it. It takes a different breed of human to want to be a hockey goalie. A fact that the netminders for the Helena Bighorns take pride in. Hey, you gotta be crazy, like me and the other guys you interviewed, you know. Sometimes they come, they hit you in the head, they hurt a little bit, but uh, you just gotta keep going through it and you get used to it eventually, but it's definitely not for everybody. And being tough isn't the only requirement for the job. These guys might say they have a screw loose, but some of the smartest people on the ice have to be between the pipes. You have to like scout every, every single person on the other team and know where they're gonna shoot and know the other team's plays and have to constantly be thinking about if the puck goes here, then I have to be in this position looking over this shoulder to see if this guy's here. It's 80% mental and 20% physical, I think. He might be short selling the physical requirements just a little bit because even though the goalie is not constantly speeding up and down the ice, they have to be fast. We have to focus on the quick movements, like super quick and then stop, super quick, stop, super quick, stop. And then we have to do it in all directions. It doesn't really matter. It's just all over. Instead of back and forth, we're kind of moving all 360. And they have to have ice water running through their veins that's just as cool as the surface they're playing on. It takes a special person to, you know, try and be the guy that, uh, you know, all the pressure's on, you know. A forward can have a bad game and you can still win, but if a goalie has a bad game, you know, it could mean the whole game is lost. If intelligence, athleticism, and toughness are your requirements for being a goalie, <laughs> then I'm your guy. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna lay down for a little bit. <laughs> Big horns, you guys know how to reach me. I want to say thanks again for the guys to let me disrupt practice like that. And if you want to see goalies who actually know what they're doing in person, the horns are at home this weekend against Yellowstone.